Hi guys, I'm Jadan Johnson and the day has come to a very sad ending. But we're still here and we're still having an awesome time. So my team is here with me as well. So we can just... Okay. Yeah, it looks here. There's Joe. There's Joe Nathan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not that happy right now. I don't really have much comments, but... That was friends and friends is friends. And uh, I'm John Mark. Friends, friend release for me has been very great. I really enjoyed it fourth year and it's been great. For me, it has been cold, but I had fun and the entire team was here, so it, w it was fun. <laughs> I'm raising Bennett and the 121st stage in the friend release has been enjoyable for me. Um, all through the day, although I've been through the chilly, Cold weather, I've been happy. I went to the arena, I hear people screaming out Jamaica, Jamaica, they love Jamaica. So I'm happy to be here, my first time in America again, and I'm very excited. Well, guys, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. It was great being here at the Penn Relays with these, these, these awesome <laughs> young yeah. people. And believe you me, each year, Kids Hub, uh, we kind of change each year, and every year we come with something new, something vibrant, something, something energetic, different. and, and yeah, something different. and I've got to say this wouldn't have been possible without the persons who made it possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so it, uh, before we even get into that, I would like to stop at this moment and, and acknowledge Mr. McLean from Almaton Primary School. Yeah. Can, you know, can he has been with us, right? He has been with us, you know. Yeah. <laughs> He, he has landed he, he landed in baltimore with us he has yeah. been through some of the pains that we've been through and he's been freezing cold <laughs> just like us so mr mclean you care to join us for a quick for a quick second yes uh, so, so tell me what has your <laughs> pen experience been like my pen experience is very awesome very awesome i am very glad to be here and help you guys to get through this <laughs> i must say an experience that you will never forget I am glad that you are you have enjoyed yourself mm -hmm. and yes, we, we have gone through the three days unscathed and happy that we're at this juncture. Yeah, man. Well thank you so much Mr. McLean for you know for volunteering your time and leaving all the way from Jamaica to come freeze <laughs> with us. <laughs> you know they, they, as I said there, there's nothing you know better or greater than having mentors and persons who are willing to just yeah, stick around yeah. and help us so like That's persons so true, like Miss so Khalif Thompson Miss Khalif Thompson has done a, a wonderful job wonderful. <laughs> in directing this mentoring. and we have to thank some of the persons to oh, help to make Team Jamaica Bickle Village possible because without Team Jamaica Bickle Village there is be. no <laughs> there, there's no broadcast spot for kids up so Mr. Vincent Hosang from Caribbean Food Delights is one of them Hi, Mr. Hosang how are you oh and Sabrina Sabrina. So well. Mr. Hosang is the is the CEO of Caribbean Sabrina Food Delights and, and Sabrina is the COO. Yeah. So tell me, it's it's 121 years. How are you guys feeling about this? 21 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has been you know a struggle, but the reward is there. Mm -hmm. You feel gratified to know that all these uh, athletes that come up from the Caribbean island, mm -hmm. and we only started with Jamaica in, in the beginning, but we took other islands on. And so we have to make our meals bigger now. <laughs> so, and it's a pleasure that, as Sabrina had said earlier, we spoke with uh, some of the athletes, and they said before we got involved, some of them slept in the in the uh, right in the in stadium. Mm. And you see how today is wow. cold. Yeah, yeah. and so you know sleeping is here, and then they didn't know what they were going to get to eat to eat. Yeah. So it's really a pleasure that people have supported us. Yeah. The volunteers has uh, done their work and it's a wonderful thing that we can give back. And I just thank good Lord. I thank our workers. I thank everybody for what they've done for to make us successful so we can give back. Yeah. yeah. So uh, can, I, can I add something real quick that you guys, you guys are awesome. And I want you to know that the work that you put into this, it's much appreciated. Right, the work that what what you two are doing, it's awesome. You along with the rest of the team, Jamaica because team, it's good, it's great. So I'd like to thank you guys for that personally from me. Thank you. Yes. And you know, I just wanted to say that, you know, as my dad said, it's been really cold and yeah. we're still here and we're outside. <laughs> we're helping. Yeah. And you know, it's just um I, I see that I see what the work that Team Jamaica Bickle do and, and our companies do. Yeah. And it's not easy. We've yeah, had so, um we had, you know, even today we had um our truck the the the, the freezer broke down. Oh. 
and we had to fix that. So, you know, we have a lot of challenges, but we make sure behind the scenes, nobody knows really what goes on behind the scenes, but we're making sure that all the athletes are getting their meals, the three and, meals and a day. And the broadcasters. And on time, <laughs> and on time. And you know, I just want, you know, people, when they, when they see that if the food doesn't come out on time, don't complain because the volunteers are really doing their That's best. so true. You know, yeah. they're really doing a lot back there. Well, and one thing I want to add on this is that we are very fortunate that we have a big factory. So we have big cookers, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this. Another thing I want to say, um, a lot of people are telling me, Mr. Hosang, you're getting up in age now and you shouldn't be doing any lifting or driving in a truck. Well, actually, this time around, we were short one driver, which will always bring two trucks. And I had to drive the other truck myself. So, <laughs> But it's always a pleasure because I know that coming here, the, the students will be fed and it's just a, a wonderful thing. I want to make one comment that you guys are the future and I'm really happy to see what you this organization is doing by bringing you guys up that I mean we'll soon be gone and then you're gonna take over and you, like I said you are the future God bless you all Thank you. work well and if I had more time I'd give you some instances where you work hard you give you all and the reward is there yeah. Thank you. God thank bless you, you all. Thank, uh, you. thank you so much, Mr. Hosan. Thank you so much, Mr. Yeah, thank you so much. And yes, to I must say thank you too <laughs> yeah. because you guys are yeah. really doing a job and you're also I know you're, you're you're following the great footsteps of <laughs> <laughs> wonderful mentors. Yes, that's you so know? true. And just like my dad said, it's the next generation that's going to be taking over. Yeah. So you're that's the, why I get involved. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you. And yeah. you guys are doing very well. Yeah, thank you so much, Sabrina. All and right. today, with, today with technology. You're yeah. way ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, goodbye. Yeah. All right. All right then. Well, us. there you have it, guys. And it's it's very great that Sabrina closed on a, on the note of mentor uh, me mentioning mentors. So we've got to thank. All the persons who are involved in making this production yes. possible. So we'd like to thank Mr. Orlando Dillon, yes. you know, founder founder of Kids Hub, Uncle Kirk Swaby, um, the team the, the, the team from CTVN, uh, which is David Castanova and Andre. They've been really wonderful and they're the ones helping to yeah, make this help live stream. And not to forget Auntie Kaleeb, yes. because she has been a big role here. I mean I I love Auntie Kaleeb. She gave us tip what we're supposed to do today, so let's not forget her. She has done a really great job. Yeah. And we've we've also got to shout out uh, to Anti Cash Catch us later. You know, it's it's been wonderful experience and Fly Jamaica for helping to get us here. here. And <laughs> last but not least, we'd like to thank Kids Hub for this wonderful opportunity. Yes. So there you have it, guys. This is the end of the Pen Relays 2015. Once again, I'm Jedan Johnson. I'm John Mark Prince. I'm Jonathan Smith. I'm Inzinga McCarthy. And I'm Regine Bennett. And our two special guests, Vincent Hosa and Sabrina, Sabrina Hosa. Hosa. Kids, Kids Hub, giving, giving youth, youth a global, global voice. voice. Hi everyone, my name is John Mark Prince of the Kids Hub Media Network. Hey everyone, I'm Inzinga McCarthy and today it's our last day here in the United States. For a tour here, coming to the United States, we've been to the Pen Relays and other events such as the match between the Red Bulls and the LA Galaxy. It was good. Um, the whole tour itself was excellent and we got a lot of great quality work done. We'd just like to take this time to really show appreciation to Fly Jamaica. They sponsored seven tickets in getting us here. Hi everyone, my name is Regine Bennett and I'm a junior broadcaster from the Kids Hub Media Network located at the Almondson Primary School. And I would like to say a big thank you to Fly Jamaica for getting me here to New Jersey. And also a big shout out to Mrs. Candy Lee Crooksmith, the principal of the Almondson Primary School. She assisted me in getting my visa to come to the Pen Relays and I just want to thank her very, very much. And overall, my experience here was great. It's my first time and I'm looking forward to come to other Pen Relays. Hi guys, I'm Jedan Johnson and it's my last day here in the United States. It has been a wonderful experience and I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the persons who are involved in making this year's pen relays possible especially to our media mentors our sponsor Fly Jamaica and to Kids Hub Media Network for providing us with this wonderful opportunity please do guys continue to enjoy the great content that we have produced and I pray that you guys have a fun and blessed day <music>